So we're out here on the Charles River this week, taking all of the sixth grade classes separately to enjoy a little bit of nature. It all goes back to a uh, water quality unit. So today they were measuring acidity, measuring dissolved oxygen, measuring the temperature of the water, and then measuring the turbidity of the water, all to get a glimpse of how polluted or how not polluted this neck of the woods is on the Charles River. So this is connected into a larger unit that we're doing in sixth grade, where we're looking at how people are affected by the quality of their water, and more importantly, how can we, and sixth graders in particular, as responsible citizens, affect people's habits and encourage them to be responsible users of water. As part of that, we really wanted to get out here to one of the local water resources that they all are familiar with and drive by on a pretty daily basis. We're pretty lucky that we have this part of campus for the rowing program that we have such great access to the Charles River here. So out here on the river this was a great opportunity for the sixth graders to one experience what it's like to be a scientist and be out in nature and collect data but also just to have a little bit of fun. Get to paddle around with their friends and race up and down the river and see a lot of cool different scenes. We had them on a scavenger hunt looking for potential trash to pick up, looking for some different animals in the water and around the water. We got to see some birds, some geese, some duck. Uh, some cranes. Some cranes. A great blue uh, heron. One of the big things with this project that we would love, when they're done with this, they can see the process from start to finish of identifying a problem and actually doing something to make a difference in the world. So what can they do to educate other people to help solve the problem? What can they do to take steps themselves to alleviate issues that they can identify? Because we really want to be raising and, and creating responsible citizens and understanding science is, is a big part of that. So we're, t we're kind of trying to not only emphasize the, the hard science skills of collecting data, but why that might really matter to someone who's not a scientist as well.